Welcome, friends, family, and those who decided to stop by. We're back at Kerbal again. We have a rescue mission. Serial Kerbin has run out of fuel, orbiting the moon. We must build a little unmanned capsule and go pick him up. He has great science we need. So just a, you know, common little look capsules, parachutes, the Sputnik thing. Uh, Stage. I there on the have a med stage. They're on a bottom stage. Get some SRVs. Oh, not really SRVs. Some external tanks. Put the the reliant engines on them. Got the swivel on the main one. You know, our classic mun mun rocket here. Auto strut. That's a, a great thing. Auto strut it all together. I still put struts on just to make sure. Make sure we got the right the motors auto strutted. And we'll, I can shred them just for realism and security. Fuel tank, fuel lines to suck from the outer tank to the middle tank. So then when we decouple those, our main stage stays full, as we always know. We've uh, done this before. Set up some clamps. Make sure we got some power. Very important with the unmanned ship. We'll put some big batteries on there. We're uh, running on straight battery power. Unmanned rocket. Check our staging. Make sure everything's good. The Mun Rescue. Craft with no signal back to Kerbin, right? Tough to do any maneuvers. Get all right. Here we are. Nighttime launch. We gotta hurry. It doesn't matter what time it is. He's running out of snacks. Cereal. He's probably got some cereal. And launch away we go. Throw her back a little bit. 80%. Normal turn. You know, classic stuff. We got to invest our brain here a little bit. Oh, drop them. Really get leveled out. We get to about 52, somewhere between 50 in a minute. Casual stuff. We've done this a few times, you should know this by now. We'll warm ahead, try to get, get out there as quick as we can. Burn out that stage, and we've achieved some space. We'll float up to have weapons, make a maneuver, do the orbital burn, transition to our orbit, and then my easy way of getting the moon, we make it to the right. Go to the bottom, which has to be on periapsis, makes it even better. Let's zoom right out, boom, encounter. And then we'll uh, tweak it on in here. Set our target. We get our, get our nodes there. Somewhere around probably what his apoapsis will be. Maybe somewhere in the middle. Just, just get there. 
the target. Wait for the maneuver. And as we come in, we'll watch that come in. Kind of fine tune adjust it a little bit. We're on our halfway out point. You want to do that fine tune adjustment. Alright, where, where we get some encounters. That, that'll be good. Once that maneuver is finished, then we make our final orbiting maneuver for the moon. Pull it in. Watching them. Intersections, where we close, where we close. Oh, that was a real close one there. And dialed in 1.1. We're under a flounder. That's what we want right there. Perfect. Zoom it on ahead. Now we have our moon orbit and our contact point there and we'll just uh, dial it in as close as we can yeah I get real close encounter put our, our thrust back up we'll switch on over let him set the target so now we're both targeting each other it always helps to have a uh, both ships targeting each other. We warped ahead to where we're coming in. We get turned towards our target, which it should show up a little yellow square. And I'm telling you how far away it is. And for some reason, that's not working for me. Switch to the other one. Like, why isn't it? I don't get it. Where's the little indicator? It makes it so much easier when you have that indicator it's showing you how far away it is. It shows you right where that other ship is. I can't find it. It's not there. Sometimes you click on on that other ship and it'll show up. I just it, it went away. I don't know. Very confusing. But we know we're close enough. We gotta get retrograde burn off our speed relative to the target down to zero so we can get there and then we point at the target speed at him a little bit we're gonna go 6.1 just want to easily kind of cruise in at him hold your distance of course he's getting further away for some reason Turn back to the target. Kill our speed. Turn back towards the target. Boost towards him. And we have a very close encounter. And you just kind of warp ahead. Still wondering why I don't have that little node. We're under a kilometer. That's gonna be really close. So they've been trying to figure out where is it at? Where is it at? Why don't I see it? Flipping back and forth. Flipping back and forth. And pause. Let's save the game here. Always a good idea to save and save often. You never wanna miss a save. And I'm like, oh, I have to go way back in if something goes wrong, especially. We don't have your indicator telling you how far away the ship is or where the ship is. And you're looking right at it. It should be right there. Like, why can I not see it? I'm getting so frustrated. This makes this so much harder. Switch back. Kill off our speed again. Turn back to target. Super close, we're getting super close. Burn toward it. 
Oh, zoom in. Hey, there it is. There it is. I can click on them. Science Junior. Science Junior. But why doesn't it have the little marker around it telling me how far away it is? It's so much easier. I did find it later on. And it's like ghost settings or something. I don't know how it got clipped away. I'm believing something to do with adding mods and... Trying to figure out how far away we are. So we don't overshoot it. So we don't crash into it. You know, because with, with that little indicator, you can see if you're still going, getting closer, getting closer. And if it starts getting further away, then you know you got to retrograde, kill your speed, go back towards it. Okay, I'm looking through my uh, Kerbal Engineer, trying to figure out. And what can I figure out? How can I figure out where it is? And then I find the Rendiverus. And that kind of helps me out. And then I can see. At least how close I am. Oh, it's very close. We're coming in. We're getting really close to him. Check back on that. So now, now we can see where we're at. Oh, oh, and I clicked it away. Then we're on surface. Oh, there we go. Back to the target. Target at zero. Flip over to Cecil, Serial, whatever his name is. You can grab all that science. Oh no, they're floating away. We gotta get back to them. Turn retrograde because we don't want to go too fast. Just a little, little puff. A little puff towards them. Spin around, kill our speed, kill our speed. Zero. Oh, we're nice and close now. All right. And then he's going to grab all that science from that capsule. And EVA over to his rescue pod. EVA is always dangerous. But oh, I'm getting better at it. Learning the, the way of the keyboard, EVA. Whoa, 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 whoa. We went the wrong way. We went the wrong way. Hold on, come back, come back. Yep, here we go, here we go. Coming towards it, coming towards it. Oh, we're coming a little fast, we're coming a little fast. Oh, oh, headed a little hard there. No, 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 no. Come back, come back. Here we go, here, grab it. And he's in. And then all that science gets loaded into the rescue capsule. All right, let's turn off all the, the Kerbal Engineering stuff that we no longer need and find our way home. So we want to go to... The front side of the moon pull back so we're going against the orbit pulled out wanna move our maneuver around till we get a nice end of curbin encounter what pull it right down in the atmosphere that's a good what are we like 34 35 set our maneuver warp to it second now we'll blast off and we'll watch that come in and once we get close we'll uh, ease it in watching it watching it and we end up with 25,000 meters that's uh, kind of steep but coming from the mud it ain't so bad when you want to want to take it in chunks so you don't zoom past it and Right through and have to come back around. Now we get turned around here, getting ready to enter the atmosphere. Maybe burn off a little extra fuel because we got a boatload in this thing. Way more than we ever needed. Nope, he's just gonna pop it off and watch the fireworks. There we go. Burning through the atmosphere. Then we don't need to see any fireworks. Those not even blew up. Boo. That's not as fun. Hit the warp speed ahead. Get our target. Where are we going to land? Come down. Parachutes out. There we 
We're coming down. We're coming down. Look at them trees in the grasslands. Now we're flowing kind of sideways. Oh, point it up. And he just floats down ever so slowly. But we're warping four times on the game. Warping four times on Wonder Share. And we're done. Landed. Collect that science. Yeah. Alright, let's see what we can uh, get upgraded here. Yep, yeah, we need bigger bigger rockets. Bigger rocket motors. The mainsail, the skipper. We would like to get some uh, nuclear. Some better little fuel there. Well, we, will, we don't really need yet. Back and forth between better tech. Probes. Definitely would want a probe. Need that fuel to unlock the Definitely looking at probe. Definitely looking at probe. But nuclear and unlocking the nuclear is where we need to go. I don't know why I keep going back to the, the probe, looking at these other things. Like, uh, oh, you know, stronger probe cores, better antennas. You know, those are good things to have. But, but you know, actuators, robotics, now nuclear. We need nuclear. Yeah, bigger fuel. Bigger fuel tanks. Unlock. Yeah. Now we can get to that nuclear. All right, now what do we spend this last little bit on? I'm going back and forth. Huh. Landing, precision. RCS. Field science, we want to get to the field science. Yeah, how about we just get a little more science? Like, subscribe. Blast off rockets like Kerbal the 1000. Thank you for watching.